Has anybody heard the word slim thick? Oh, I know you have. Everybody's heard the word of slim thick. If I hear the word slim thick one more fucking time, I'm gonna... I don't like the word slim thick. Slim thick, I feel like it refers to women like Kim Kardashian, who I do not hate, despite my many Instagram stories taking the piss. I, I think she's got the world wrapped around her little finger and doesn't really do anything for it. I mean, no, she does do something for it. She doesn't have much talent, it seems, but um, she's somehow made a multi-million dollar industry out of that, so good for her, like, more power to you. But, slim thick. Slim thick seems to describe women who are slim in the places that they're supposed to be slim, according to whoever, and thick in the places that they're supposed to be thick. So not only have we just come out of this time or seem to come out of this time where we've had to be like a size zero and had to be waif-like like the Kate Moss era, nothing tastes as good as skinny feels or whatever that bullshit is. Clearly she hasn't tried fucking Krispy Kremes, but we're coming out of that, I feel. But now, and everyone originally was praising people like Kim for uh, opening up a different kind of acceptable body image. That's the thing I have a problem with. The acceptable body image. I know, we've got a way to go. At least we're not being forced this like waif look anymore, but this is not the end of the problem. So anyway, so now we're introduced to this new body, which is now the new norm, the new waif, which is, yes, slim where you're supposed to be slim and thick where you're supposed to be thick, which if you know anything about training, diet, exercise, anything, you cannot tell your body where specifically to put on weight, just as the same as you cannot tell it where to specifically lose weight. A surgeon can, uh, uh, like, you know, fat transfers, which is 100% what a lot of people in the public eye have, which I don't think people know about. Fat transfers, as far as I know, is where you get um, lipo out of, let's say, for example, your stomach, and um, they filter and purify the fat and then re-inject it into where you want to be thick so like your hips your ass etc um and i don't have a problem with that i have no problem against plastic surgery like if it sucks that we feel that we want it but it is because of the images that have been forced onto us since we were fetuses and um, so we can't be penalized for oh i want big boobs or oh i don't i i, I want a big bump whatever like you, if we want that do what you fucking want with your body but it irks me when people say it's natural or down to a diet or down to a, a certain workout this has been said many times before but pe anyone that knows anything about training knows that or the, the body, any science knowledge whatsoever. I'm not a scientist, I don't know anything about, well, I know a bare, the bare minimum about science, etc. But if you know anything about how the human body works, you cannot, let's not go off track, you cannot get a derriere that large without having, if you're saying it's from exercise and building muscle, your thighs would be like, like, thick ass thighs, like, and they would be muscular, like, it's not muscular, it's, it's lardy, which I, I actually, I, 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 whatever, but it's not a muscular bum, and her legs don't match, therefore, it has to have been fat transfers, which is one thing, but I just, I can't, I can't support people that lie and say, that's like me saying my boobs, oh, oh, all of a sudden, um, I just started eating lots, or I was on my period and they got bigger, no, they didn't, they're, they're false. Um, but that's what I wanted to do, that's what the world has imposed on me, and, you know, I wanted my body shape to be that way, and I can do whatever the fuck I want. But I'm never gonna say, <laughs> if someone asks me, I'm never, why would you lie? Why would you lie? Who, anyway, so slim thick. <sighs> People have been praising Kim about having opened the world up to a new kind of body, but actually it's kind of making the category of acceptable body types <laughs> minuscule. We shouldn't care what the media says is an acceptable body type. And obviously if you are like, 
you know, I guess mature kind of is the word, but or educated on like diet and nutrition enough, I guess is the, then you will know that that's bollocks and like, you know, you don't, you don't need to adhere to what the media says is an acceptable type of body image. But young people, I know I was, I posted a picture on Instagram today about how I was tiny when I was little, but I was convinced, you can even see in the picture I was covering my stomach, convinced I was fat and disgusting. First of all, why did I even, why was I even thinking about what I looked like when I was that young? Who cares? And second of all, I was underweight, clearly underweight. It makes me sad to think how much time I wasted, but so young people will look at people like Kim Kardashian and think, oh, that's achievable, and she, she says she hasn't had any work done, so, you know, I'm gonna aim to do that. Then you go uh, doing, like, bum exercises, which probably will build your bum, but they will build your legs, too. And then if you want the look that she has, which is a thigh gap and, like, an apple on a stick, like, twiglet legs, which I don't want to shame anyone with twiglet legs. I'm just saying she has very tiny legs and a very huge bump. That won't happen through exercise. You will get nice, strong thighs too. But if you wanted a thigh gap, you can't, you can't have a thigh gap and an ass that gigantuan, gigantic, big. Um, so yeah, I just don't like this. And when I hear, I can't listen to the radio anymore. If I hear Slim Thick one more time, Slim Thick to me is the ultimate, like, you adhere to what we want you to look like. Like, we can't even be fucking thick anymore. Jesus Christ, I, like, <sighs> we can't even be thick anymore. We were, we, first we had to be waifs. That's not my category. Then thick came into fashion, my category. Now we can't, now we have to be slim thick. So again, I don't give a shit what we have to be, I don't care. But I'm saying a lot of young people will feel the pressure to look like what these songs are like, praising women, slim thick, big booty, anorexic waist, etc. I, I swear I've actually heard that. How your waist anorexic and your, something like that. There is a song with that in it. Um, pra praising anorexic waist, oh my God. Um, but, People will look at that and be like, oh, I want people to, to validate, because you, all you want when you're young is validation, a lot of the time. I mean, if, if you have wonderful parents that, and a wonderful life, then maybe not, but most people just want validation and to feel like they're worthy. And if you're hearing constant songs on the radio, like nine to five, like when, or whenever, when kids listen to the radio, it's not after a certain time when they're asleep, it's when they're listening, kids are listening, school hours, um, coming back from school hours, whatever, they're listening to songs with like rappers and everyone singing about how great slim thick chicks are. And they're, obviously they're gonna be like, okay, okay, cool. Like that's, that's acceptable. Cause everyone wants to be accepted when they're young. That I don't care, okay, maybe if you were a super confident, um, super secure preteen, that's excellent. But like, I wasn't, I for sure wasn't. I wanted to be skinny. I wanted to be like, waif skinny no one explained to me and i wasn't educated about the body if i knew about the body i would be i would know i'm five foot two okay it was it's almost impossible to be model skinny like they're stretched they have a lot of space to spread out any fat that they have on their body so of course they're going to be slimmer than someone like five foot but when you're five foot you don't have enough uh, real estate to spread even if you have a little amount of fat on you you don't have the real estate to spread that out so it's going to be more noticeable than on someone who's 5'10 but that's okay but I just wish someone had taught me that because I was thinking no 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 I'm just not working hard enough I'm just eating too much if I work hard I will look like whatever who was I looking up at I can't remember. It wasn't Kate Moss, I was too young. Anyway, I, you know, models, whatever. So anyway, this slim thick needs to stop. I, any word that describes like, this is what you need to look like, fuck right off, okay? We, I can't listen, and there's the J. Cole's new album, I like it, but I can't listen to the song. I think it's I think it's called Water to Wine, or he says water. You could turn water to wine in it a lot, right? There's one lyric. I don't know why it irks me so much, but it does. He says, "Oh, you um, oh shit, what is it? <laughs> it's like you you dress 
oh fuck, what's the exact lyric? It's like, oh, you dress like sexy, but never showing too much. That, I don't know why it irks me so much. Oh, oh, okay, I, it's like, oh, thank you. Oh, great, so I show enough to please you, um, but not too much that I'm a whore. Okay, great, thank you. I, that's such a compliment. It's like, everything we do has to be, meh, don't do it too much though. Like, don't cover up, because then, because then you're approved. Like, I like that you're showing a bit of skin for me, for my enjoyment, I like that, but don't be a whore, don't show it around, only for me. I don't like that, no. Show whatever the fuck you want, Anyway, that, um, that, that lyric annoyed me. Someone please comment and say exactly what that lyric is, but it does annoy me. I'm, I might be like clutching at straws, but when, every time I hear it, I'm like, it doesn't sit well with me. Like, shut up. Like, pfft. oh, I, I never show too much. Thank you. Thanks. No, <laughs> no. Um, so don't say slim thick. Don't aspire to be slim thick. Aspire to be the best version of yourself, a healthy version of yourself. That's what we all should do. Exercise is good for mental health. Exercise is good for physical health, which is actually the same thing. I don't like when people separate the two. Your brain is part of your physicality, so. Um, 